Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video to get people's opinions. Um, I have a used to be co-worker considered friend that had a really bad problem it happened not very long ago uh, and poor kid she's like 20 21 maybe and her boyfriend died and it was very unexpectedly and it was terrible um, and I felt bad for her I, I knew the kid who died and he wasn't always good his entire life but I guess he made her happy that was important anyway that's that part is irrelevant I got a message today from a guy named John and John knows that I know her and he's wanting to be with her and he's trying to holler at her and all this and he wanted to make sure that I wasn't trying to do the same thing and I of course I told him no and that's no, I don't I don't know her like that he goes okay well cuz I'm trying to get with her and I want to tell her that that's a terrible 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 unsafe like meth alcoholic abusive like, trust me, if you never trust anything else that I say, trust this, that that guy is bad news for her. Bad news. And I, I want to tell her, but I don't think she will listen to me, and she, I don't think she will believe me. I mean, his arrest record speaks for itself. It is absolutely terrible. He is not safe. He may have changed his ways, but I doubt it. Uh, I know, I, I've known him a long time, and it's, mm, it wouldn't be so bad if I thought he changed, but I don't think that he did. And I'm afraid that because she already knew him, I'm pretty sure because her her boyfriend and him I think they well I know they've known each other for a long time um, but I'm afraid that she is in a weak and vulnerable spot still reeling from when he her, her fiance died and it will that will be used against her and I don't know what to do I don't know how to reach out to her because I don't think that she will believe me or listen to me. Um, and I don't, I don't know if I talk to her. I don't, I don't think, I don't know. I would hope that she would trust me or at least someone would trust me and assist, but I don't know how. Um, because I don't want her to know necessarily that it's coming from me. I just want her safe. I don't want anyone to hurt that poor girl. And man, I might be wrong about John, but I really don't think that I am. His brother is actually my son's girlfriend's dad. Like it's a big old mess of stuff. And the last time I talked to John's brother, his brother didn't have any good things to say about him. So I'm concerned. Like, I, I don't know. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think that I am. I think that she needs help. I think that she needs to look into his past and how far back I don't know but I think she needs to be made realization of domestic abuse alcoholism drugs amphetamines all this stuff that is very clearly recorded 
very, very clearly. And I hope, I hope that it can get through to her without any complications. I don't know. I, I don't want to tell her myself. And I don't want her to know that the information is coming from me. Because I don't want her to think that it's biased. But I want nothing from that girl at all except for, for her to be careful and safe and happy. I don't know. I hope I can figure out something to get a message to her that she is in a too vulnerable too vulnerable of a position, I guess. I don't I don't know. But what I know of another way that I could do it, but it involves somebody that I don't want to involve in my life anymore. But maybe it's for the greater good. I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, let me know.